metaphor. Uh, I just want to document this thing, man. Like time, uh, a metaphor of time is like Chris was talking about the river and how a river is a metaphor of time. So I see it as if you're in space looking at the earth, and the earth is this big, and you see a river, you see a river, it's not moving as as you perceive it. It's there as a piece of geography. You see where it starts, where it ends, you see the tributaries, you see it sitting there. As you get closer, it starts to speed up. It starts to move as you get closer, and as you get closer, it moves faster and faster until you get down so close to it as an ant up on the river, and it's flying by. And so the relativism of time. And it's the same way with interpersonal relationships. When you're looking at someone and focusing into someone, time flies by. Which is why all this interpersonal YouTube, all these people coming together and talking to each other and focusing into each other, time is speeding up. They're saying the Mayan calendar is coming to an end. Uh, compound interest spikes on a J-curve. Like goes, 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 and then it goes straight up. And that's like when you focus a lot, time speeds up into, into something or someone. When you draw away within the self, time slows. My perceived time slows, and so the time around me slows. And so I can spend five minutes laying in my bed with my eyes closed, calm, and have it feel like 20 or an hour or a half hour, feel a full rest come from five minutes of calmness as the minutes pass slowly. Or I can put on a video game and five hours can go by or two hours can go by and I, and I forget that I had water boiling because I meant to get it in five minutes or an hour goes by or something due to focus because of, because of such close examination of something, time started to speed. But with, without the close examination, when there's a broad or non-examination, when there's a non-examination or a broad general acceptance, time halts or comes to a place where it slows so we can get a lot accomplished in a small amount of time. So when I'm edit, editing, I was going to say, when I'm editing myself, when I'm pulled away from society and in a meditative state, it will give society an opportunity to change itself quick, relatively quickly, change a lot, and time will happen slowly. When I'm involved, things start to move. Things start to change and speed up. And I like that, personally, as Ian Crossland body, human. I like to be a part of it and the speeding and the changing, but there's a lot to change in a small amount of time. So meditation is key. To We need to slow things down for the rest of society. We being me and whoever's listening to this. Because if you're listening to my videos, you know it's real. Your affectation over time. Go with it. Use it. Help with it. Because time is a judgment of movement based on your perception of the movement. So when you're focusing on someone closely, you see a lot of movement. So it seems like time went by really fast. When you're looking at someone or watching something, time goes, there's a lot of movement. So, so time, that 30 minutes went by so quick because there was a lot of movement. But when there's no movement, when you're in a dark room, time may go slow. Unless you have a lot of movement in your mind, you can create it. You can speed things up. You can speed up speed time up, speed up time in your mind without external stimulus. You can do both. External stimulus helps, but you can do it without the external stimulus. You can create it in the mind and speed it up with that mental activity. When you're not looking at a lot of things changing, time goes slower when you're not visualizing a lot of movement. So it's movement. Time is a reflection of movement. Time is a judgment of movement. Judgment based on perceived movement. 
So you got to get close to something to see it move. And the closer you get, the faster it'll happen, perceivably. Just really what will happen is the closer you get, the more movement you'll see. Until you get so close that it's moving slow again. You see? I just touched onto a, another level, another echelon that a lot of people were like, what? Even I was like, but I'll watch it. And it's there, and it's something for humanity to expand on again in the future. How we do it, like a rubber band bouncing, like a... That's what we're doing. And yet, time itself has two meanings, both the 30 minutes and how fast that 30 minutes went by. Do they happen in no time? I don't have time. You feel like you don't. Time is two things. It's a hardened seconds, minutes, hours, seasons. And then how it feels get in there. Well, that, that dichotomy's got to be ripped apart. It has to be fizzed. What's the verb for fission? I know you can fuse things, but you uh, split them? This definition of time needs to be split, like a log, like a wet, like a split like wet pine. Second is an increment of movement. Literally, when one second goes by, that is a measurement of movement. Nothing is sitting still. Everything is constantly moving. So it's a measurement of movement. There it is. An hour is a measurement of movement. Like a light year is not a year. It's a distance. It's the distance that light travels in... So it's the distance that the ball moves at the speed of light, even though it's moving as it's moving. There's two types of movement also. There's quantum movement, and then there's accelerant, accelerative movement. Like... This pen is moving through the air, and it's also moving within itself, appearing and moving. And as it moves, that is how we measure it with time. It has moved one second. It has moved three seconds. This is a better way to think of the increment of, of the stopwatch and things. It's not measuring anything but movement, a movement, a small movement that our eyes don't pick up. Not really. I mean, they probably do on some sub-level, you know. We're probably perceiving the movement on some small level as feeling. All right. This will be something to expand on in the future because right now my mind's like... Mm.